This week's tip is understanding that venues have rules for a reason. They have rules in place, typically because of bad experiences in the past. We all learn by experience. I don't know about you, but for me, it seems like every year or sometimes a few times a year, my contract gets longer and longer because of the chaotic situations that we're put in sometimes as planners. But I like for people to understand that venues are not trying to be difficult, at least most of them that I work with aren't. And the situation for this story is I was at a very historical museum and their policy is no open flame. Now, if you plan a lot of weddings, most brides don't like fake candles. They want real candles. I particularly don't, don't care for those candles either. But before booking a venue, if your bride wants all these candles, you got to make sure that open flame is allowed in this venue. So there, this particular venue, I knew just from doing previous weddings there, we could not have open flame. And I'd already addressed that with the florist, but on the actual wedding day, the caterer shows up who was not familiar with the venue and who brought open flames for the sternos that go up under the the chafing dishes that keep the food hot, basically. And someone had accidentally walked by and knocked something off of the table. The table collapsed because the leg had not put it had not been put in place properly and of course the sterno fell it caught a linen on fire and you can just imagine what happened from there so a vin uh, somebody working with the catering team looked at me i looked at them they picked up s some water that the florist had set there for a bouquet to go in and of course put the fire out pretty quickly so it wasn't this traumatic experience that burnt down the museum but it could have been and it could have been worse and of course the caterer felt horrible not even thinking that open flame meaning sterno flames to keep the food hot. So when I work at that venue, I suggest the caterer cook off site or we do a cooking tent outside of the museum. That museum also requires that the client get a million dollars worth of insurance. So if something does happen, it's covered, but you don't ever want to have to use that policy, right? So make sure that you're following the rules as the planner makes sure that the vendors know what the rules are and they're there for a reason. Did you like this video? If you did, like it, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can even leave me a comment and if you have a wedding planning question, send it my way. If you want even more great resources to create a productive and profitable wedding planning business, plus some email updates from me that I only talk about in my email, come on over to my website, AngelaProfit.com, and be sure to sign up for email updates. Thank you so much for tuning in to Productive and Profitable Wedding Planning on APTV.